Hello everyone, this is Technomath and I'm glad to see you after a long time. I hope you all are doing good. So today we are going to see how to recover your lost data or let's say accidentally deleted data from external hard drive, internal hard drive, USB drive or any other storage media for that matter. Even after you have cleaned your recycle bin or trash can. Okay. Now these lost data can be anything like your most precious memories in the form of photos and videos. Some important files on a system, right? Accidental deletion of data can happen with anyone. It did happen with me. I lost some important data a few months back and it was really, really a messed up situation for me. However, I recovered my data and today I'm going to show you exactly how I did that. So let's get jump into it. Okay, so with all this scenario, Deskrill 3 is all-in-one data recovery software. Easy to use, fastest and most efficient. Now this tool provides you with a quick way to recover your critical business documents, videos, photos, etc. So this is my external hard drive that I'll be going to be using to recover some of my old photos right now. Okay, so stick with me from start to end to see the whole recovery process. So first of all, download the software from following link. I will put the URL for the sites, both for Mac and Windows in the description below the video. I'm using Mac. Now, make sure you are downloading the latest version from here. Once you download the software, follow with me for the installation process. Double click on downloaded DMZ file and drag this icon over the application folder. Installation process is easy. Once you finish the installation, go to the launch pad and click on disk drill. Click on continue, continue, continue. Now, if you have the pro version of this software, you just have to enter the license key and click on get started. I would like to thank Cleverfile for providing me this wonderful software. So now open the disk drill. Once it's open, let me give you a quick tour of the UI. So here you can see all the disks that are connected to the computer. Basically, it's a disk list. Here on top, we have different options like create boot drive, backup, clean up, find duplicates, but we are not going deep into those options. And let's get started with the scanning process so that we can recover our data. Once you plug in your desired drive, go ahead and select the disk from the disk list and click on recover. It will take some time to show you some progress. You can see on top right corner, it's saying getting ready. You need to be very patient while all this scanning process because uh, time taken for this process depends on the uh, overall size of your hard drive. So you can see the progress here on top right corner. It's going to take a lot of time. Till then, you can keep it untouched. However, you can review the covered files mid-scan from here by expanding all these folders. Now, I will skip this scanning part. So once the scanning is completed, it will show you all the deleted files of selected drive. If you expand any of this folder, it will show you the total number of files it contains and the size of the folder. Okay, you can also choose to select the type of data you want to uh, go through it so from here you can select picture video audio documents uh, as we said earlier that i'm going to recover some of my old photos i'm going to select pictures it's going to update the file list so now we have filtered our search results by pictures also here you can view these file structures by folders files folders with icons and icons here there's one way to confirm if your file can recover or not it can be confirmed by the preview of the file. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through the folder and search for some of the images that I want to recover. Yeah, this is the folder I wanted to recover. Let's see if it's still recoverable. So you just uh, just select any single file, go here and click on icons. See, so whichever file shows you the preview of the file, it can be recovered. And going right back to the folder structures so now that we can see and we can confirm that our to be recovered file is here somewhere and we can also see the preview of the file so once you find your deleted files 
all you need to do is to recover it right here you can also select one more filter from here if you want that you want to recover the files um, that are larger than 4 MBs or 16 MBs or 64 MBs you can choose this filter or you want to recover a file within a specific time period you can select this option here I'm not going to select those options I'll just select this whole folder and select a destination folder where I want all my recovered data to be saved so I'm just going to the desktop create a folder named recovered data recovered data select the folder and click on recover it's just going to copy all these deleted files to your destination folder you have just created you can see the progress right here the status of successfully restored file can be seen under status bar So now I recovered all of my files. It's very easy and efficient. Note that this drill works for Mac, Windows, iPhones, Android or any other removable storage medias. You can buy the pro version of this software by using $10 coupon code which I'll be putting right below in the description. I hope you find this video helpful. If you find any queries, difficulties write down in the comment section. I will try to resolve as much as I can. Thank you for being patient. Have a nice day.